Hey guys, what's up? It's Emily. This week I'm doing something, it's gonna be a little longer and I'm nervous. Um, so this was a trend back in like December. Jonah Green started it and it's called the Strip Down Challenge. Um, I'll put the first link in my description will be Jonah's video so you can basically understand why YouTubers are doing this. But basically, it's to show that not everything on social media is, is fake. So what happens in this video is I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes in a minute. And I'm going to start it. And I'm just going to talk. And in this video, there's no, no music, no background music, no editing, no anything. It's going to go from my camera to YouTube. No editing softwares, no nothing. What you're seeing is what I'm filming, just raw, pure, no script, no bullet points, no topic, just my thoughts and the camera. So I'm going to set the timer and then we can get started. I'm kind of nervous about this. Okay, timer started. Um, I don't really, I'm not usually awkward around the camera, but this is weird. Um, so... Life has been a mess recently, and I'm not going to start, like, talking about my problems because my problems aren't your problems. Um, but I just want to say something. Um, so, relationships are a funny thing. Uh, not even just, like, romantic relationships. Like, those are a mess. Um, but just friendship relationships and everything like I've realized that in the past like three weeks um I don't know um so if you're in a situation where you're not happy you need to find someone who can make you happy now Please don't depend on someone for your own happiness. But I think everyone deserves someone in their life who can lift them up when they feel like nothing can make them happy. Like, right now, I'm going to be completely honest, I'm fighting my depression pretty, pretty hard. And, I mean, I have some pretty awesome friends and they're trying their best to make me happy and I'm pushing them away and that's just life, man. Um, I do that a lot. But there are some people that I can't push away. Like they refuse to leave. And I think those are the best kinds of people. Like the people that don't don't get angry and frustrated or upset about someone being depressed. Um Cause I'm stressed. Like school is like it's the end of the year. I'm about to leave for camp, and I have none of my stuff together. <sighs> Me and Jesus are fighting. Um, I'm just struggling with life right now, and so it's tough when you're like having all of this go on, and you just want to lay in your bed and cry and be sad, and for no reason really. Like I have no reason to be depressed. Like my life is good. I have awesome friends. Um, I have an awesome life, but. I don't know. Um, but it's nice to know that people care. So don't push people away. And if there's someone in your life, or someone, multiple someones, multiple people in your life who you can be completely honest with and be yourself around and you're not worried about them seeing you sad or seeing you angry or hearing how you really feel and they'll talk to you about the world and your thoughts and you can have debates and deep conversations but you can also have fun conversations and laugh and they can make you smile like an idiot even when you're crying your eyes out or you're not afraid to send them ugly selfies because you you know that they still want to be in your life even if you look awful like those are the people 
that we need. Everyone deserves at least someone, at least one person like that in their life. And I try to be nice to everyone and I try to be kind and sweet and compassionate and loving to everyone. But it's hard sometimes, man. Like it's, it's tough. And so it's nice to know that even when I'm like not, not the best, um, people still want to like stick by my side. Cause I'm going through a lot, like my mind is always racing. And so it's nice to have someone that I can be like, talk to me, like I'm going through a lot. Let's talk this out. Help me. I'm confused. Let's talk about the world, man. Let's like talk about our ideas. Let's debate it about this. Like that's my favorite thing. Like someone who can have like a deep, meaningful conversation, but can also like make you laugh and like be fun and cool and someone that you're not afraid to send ugly selfies to. Um, and like you don't even have to, like that doesn't even have to be like a romantic person. Like it just has to be like a person like you care about. Like, it doesn't have to be a boyfriend or a girlfriend. It can be, like, a a friend. Um, I mean, yeah, it's always nicer if it's, like, a boyfriend or a girlfriend, but sometimes that doesn't happen. Like, sometimes you just meet people and they're just, like, a really cool friend. Um, I've read Connor Frank's book, and he talks about like-minded people. And how we need to surround ourselves with like-minded people. And I was thinking to myself, like, yeah, like, being surrounded by people who think like you are so necessary. Like, I'm scared to talk about, like, my thoughts with people because I'm scared I'll get judged. But it's nice to, like, say something and someone be like, yeah, I know completely what you mean. And y'all can, like, have, like, a real conversation about it. But it's also really important to have people that are different you know like someone who views things differently than you are so you stay open-minded because if you always are around people who I don't know who think like you or very similar to you you're gonna become close-minded because you're gonna think well my friends and my boyfriend or my girlfriend or my family everyone I surround myself with thinks just like this you're gonna be like that's the only way that that the world can work. That's the only way that things can be and that's not that's not true. Um I don't know. People are just fun and weird and there are some people in our lives who who are supposed to be there for a reason. Like I don't know, I'm not a big fan of fate and destiny and all of that because sometimes you have to make stuff happen for yourself but sometimes like if it's bound to happen it's gonna happen and that's scary to know that like you can't control everything like some things are just gonna happen because they're supposed to happen it's, it's scary and something else that I need to tell you guys um I'm a very emotional person and I've experienced anger towards a certain person, certain few people, a lot recently. One of these people, not naming names or genders, one of these people, um, I don't like at all. And I don't like this person for, like, I have no reason to not like this person. Like, I've never met this person. I've never talked to this person, but I don't like them at all. And I can't explain it. I can't explain it. I mean, um, don't let yourself be so jealous or insecure or angry that you just hate people for no reason because they have something that you don't or that they have a better life than you or Something like that, because that's so not good. Like, I don't know, man. We just need to be kind to people. And I'm being a hypocrite right now because I have said so many rude things about one person in, in particular 
for no reason. Just because I'm upset at my situation that they had no control over. And that's awful and I feel, ah. Your heart and love and all of that, that's some strong stuff. Love and hate are strong. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Life's too short to worry about that though. God, I could talk about this forever. How much time do I have left? 30 seconds. Um, yeah. Love people. Can I just say something really quickly? I'm probably going to go over time with this. Probably, but that's okay. Song lyrics are powerful. Like, like simple song lyrics can make you feel, can make you feel so many things. I'm about to, I'm about to end the video, I promise, but I just gotta say this. Song lyrics are so strong. Like, one song or one line in a song can bring back emotions and feelings and all of that. Or a different song can make you feel so much hate and pain. Have you ever wanted to ask an artist what they're thinking when they wrote the song? Like a singer-songwriter who writes their songs and then sings them and performs them. Like, have you ever wanted to be like, yo, dude, what were you thinking? What were you, what made you want to write that song? Because I do. I don't know. Life's funny, man. I'm going to end the video because this is really depressing as heck. Um, stay positive. Life is short and scary and... Stay positive. Surround yourself with people who love you. And if they want you, they're going to get you. And they're not going to let you go. And that goes for friends or relationships or whatever. Like, if they want you in their life, they're going to hold on to you with everything they have. And if they let you go and they say that they want you, they are not worth it. That's something i got to let you know. If they say that they love you or they care about you, or that they'll be your friend forever, and they leave you, I'll put up with that. Because we all deserve to be happy. And that's, I don't know. But anyways, um, this video was long, and it was emotional, and ah. Uh, okay. I'm going to end the video now, because so many emotions. Okay. I'm emotional, I'm a wreck, I'm sorry, um, a vlog from this upcoming weekend is going to be up next week, I'm very excited about it, I'm going to be with some really cool people, so be excited, um, peace out, stay rad, I love you, also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, share and subscribe. Don't forget to watch Jonah Green's video because he explains this a lot better and he talks about some really cool stuff in his video. Peace. Love ya.